we put a, a 45 on that yeah. and a 45 on that yeah. and then we just sort of trim that one to length to get it where when we can see, yeah. yeah. Will and I are fixing an exhaust pipe to the 1940s Bamford engine. It's a lovely old engine but it's been puffing out smelly fumes at whoever's working nearby. It's a bit sooty in there. Mm. Hello? So it won't quite go in. We could, as you said, we could take that thread off, which seems a shame. Or we could cut little slots in there and scrunch it a bit. Yeah. But or then just weld it straight on. Or weld it straight on. Yeah, that makes the most sense, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. If you don't want to get rid of the threads, yeah. So it's time to fit an extension pipe that takes the exhaust up to the roof. I nearly bought a length of proper exhaust pipe from the agricultural suppliers but then I found some short pieces of galvanised pipe on the market and they were much cheaper. Lovely. Oh no that's 90. That's 90. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were good. Okay we don't want 45 so where's my answer? <laughs> <laughs> we need half of 45. Yes. 22 and a half, please. After we got our angles sorted out, things progressed much quicker. Will expertly welded the pieces together. I have a brilliant MIG welder from Artec, and even I can weld quite well with it, but Will is the expert, so it would be silly not to use his skills. Even though he does sometimes try to weld his thumb. Meanwhile, I'm working on a little hat for the top of the pipe. It has to stop the rain getting in, but also open up to let the exhaust out. You can buy these things too, of course, but you know me, I like making things and I thought I'd give it a go. My first plan was to make a cutout man and hinge the hat so it looked like he was lifting his hat in a friendly greeting. Which might have been fun but then I thought I'd make a tiny dragon instead. Something about the smoke and the heat seemed to fit. So I drew a dragon shape and tried different pivot points till it worked. On paper anyway. Well, you know, not real paper, but computer sort of paper. Anyway, I took my drawing to my CNC plasma cutter and cut it out of 2mm steel. And tacked it to the hat. and then fitted the legs and was pleased to see that the angles and the sizes seemed to be pretty good. It seems to hinge in the right place and stay closed but I still don't know if it will open when needed. It has to stay closed even in a gale, but the exhaust gases must be able to open it easily too, or the engine won't work. So getting the balance right might be important. I made some brackets too for the pipe and used lots of old bicycle inner tube to give it support, but at the same time, some scope for vibrations. Whose silly head got in the way? 
Honestly. And then I started the engine, and the exhaust pipe worked really well, but the dragon flapper didn't. There we go. like a woodpecker than a dragon. It was just too front heavy. It really should stay open while the engine's running. So I welded on some nuts to add weight to the tail end and tried again. Much better. But curiously, when I shut down the engine, it goes back into woodpecker mode for a while. Hmm. Good enough, though. If only it would rain.